Hey, what's going on everybody? FTG here. Hope you're doing well today. Have you ever wondered why your truck sounds just sound like absolute garbage? Um, have you just put a bunch of mods in there and then you hope stuff plays, but you don't have no idea if it's compatible with this truck? I don't know. I'm driving. I don't even know where I got this truck. It's just something that some dude sent me a mod link for. It. But I don't have any of this. I don't have any of that. Anyway, if that's where you're at or if you've tried to put some stuff together but you just don't know and things don't sound the same as they do on my live streams, I am going to clue you in, guys, to what I am doing. I will give you a good free option for a wonderful soundscape for America Truck Sim. And if you want to put a few bucks behind uh, a few of your payware mods, I'm going to show you some wonderful payware options for uh, anything here for soundscapes for American Truck Sim. So we're going to take two different trucks. We're going to take a free option, a payware option. We're going to kind of analyze both of these. I'm going to go through mod structures with you and everything. So this is actually a jam-packed video. Uh, and then that way you guys will be able to see free versus some pay wear. More on that coming up. Don't go anywhere. All right. Well, here we are in my free section of my mods. Uh, this is a, one of the profiles here that I have that is um, pretty much all the free stuff. Now I've got payware trailers and, and miscellaneous stuff here and there. It's it's not like it's it's not affecting sounds. But we're still going to be in a, in a default W900, and the reason for it is because a lot of these free sounds are not available for payware trucks. They're not compatible. They are available, but you have to know what you're doing to be able to add payware trucks to sound mods like these. I haven't done any of that. So what you're, if you were to download these, what, six mods, uh, if you were to download these and put them in your game and then drive the W900, yours will sound exactly the same as long as you have the sound mix. So we're going to, this is going to be a very in-depth um, video on the soundscape of ATS free and payware, what it sounds like. And then I'm going to give you some kind of pointers and some kind of tips to go by as you're finding new stuff. Because eventually this video will get a little bit old and there will probably be some new things to come out. So if you're seeing some of those and you go back to this prioritization style sound, these have a priority of their own just like your mod folder does. Okay, So I'm actually going to link my prioritization video, which I am going to be updating this week, I'm hoping. So at least a 141 update. So anyway, sounds... Um, we are um, looking at this from the perspective of these are all free. These work with free trucks um, and anything you would find off like the SES forums. I can't vouch for anything off mod sites, especially if they're edits. I just can't vouch for those. It depends on what the modder does with those. That's not a general like, you know, SES doesn't say you have to do it this way. Whatever the modder does kind of dictates how you have to play with the mods, or at least as a player. All right, so let's start here. My structure typically on the free side always starts out with the Sounds Fixes Pack. This Sounds Fix Pack essentially goes through and it replaces all of the garbage sounds that came with the game. Uh, some of these sounds were old. They've never been updated. They've never been re-recorded. I have no idea why this game's been out for five years, and we still don't have simple, like, good-sounding truck packs. We've got guys doing free sounds like this that are absolutely incredible, and the quality's still not that great, but it's so much better than the default sound. So you can see here the feature list of all of the stuff. So if you don't want to put a lot of mods in here and you're worried about them just like conflicting, this is a great all-arounder. This one kind of has everything in it. So you could put this in and then an engine sounds pack, and then always probably just about, you know, cover your basis. Now you could, you know, use this and test it. And then see what you think. If you want more, then do what I'm doing. Add more realistic sounds. Now, Engine Sounds Pack, this is the one from Creeps. This one covers a lot of trucks. Hit the eye on all these, and it tells you all the engines. And this one, uh, Creeps does a really good job of letting you know all of the stuff that does this. Now, here's the thing. None of these right here, none of these are payware. All right? Typically... Uh, Creech Bombs pack gets broken up and gets added to payware trucks. So if you've bought some of these, you're like, oh, I'll get that sound pack. That sounds great. You're probably going to have to look in your payware section um, of wherever you've bought the mod, or it's a Facebook group or whatever, and see if someone's made a compatibility mod or if they've gotten permission to upload these sounds as a part of their truck. Creech does do that. Um, it's not like it's um, any kind of a big secret or anything. You just need to ask. That's all. 
Um, don't just assume that these sounds are in there and your sound sounds like garbage and it's actually just the SES sounds. But all, here's all of your engine lists. This is a great sound pack, an all-around good one. Um, so let's go ahead and move up. Um, these right here are three. Now, these are totally, if you want to do these, they are great mods, but they're also free from Z Mods. I'm going to put his link in the description, so go check those out. Those are the train sound crossing mod. It's good. It's got a steam version of that. Interior noise is kind of like when the, the you know, when the boat's squeaking and rocking around and stuff. Um, yeah, all the, the you know, air pneumatic seat sounds and the, the key swinging in the, you know, on the dash or whatnot. That's all in the interior sound uh, mod. And this train and sound, train and crossing sound, obviously, is what it is. Weather sound and effects are all new rain. Rain textures, rain sounds inside and out. New thunder sounds inside and out. And it's actually really, really good. You got to mess around with your your um, your ambient sound slider inside of uh, ATS to kind of get that, you know, at least to get that a little bit balanced with your truck. But it's a really, really good sound mod. All that's free. Uh, no more grinds. Need to get rid of it. It's no longer available, or at least it is available, but it's not updated. And I'm finding that more and more with Steam Workshop mods, you got to pay attention to the last day it was updated. A lot changed between 139 and 141. Also, a lot changed um, just in that that version, but especially in the sounds category. So, if you're before the F mod changeover, then most of the sounds or anything that you have is not going to work. If not, crash your game or just be silent. This one is silent. It does not do anything. Does not stop your gear from grinding. If you want to do that, we're going to talk about on the payware side what is going to fix that. Um, but nothing free, at least to my research. And you guys, if you know of anything that's out there that's free, that's available, let me know if there's a no more grinds sound to keep that gear uh, grinding sound at bay, not because it's just so flipping loud. Um, and since we don't have force feedback, it's kind of hard to do that. Okay, and then the second, third, last, uh, well, I guess the second, third part of this is improved sounds and tire sounds. Improved sounds give you the shifter, the little the little knocks as you're, um, and then the air actuator is, as the gear is moving through. You can hear the little, <coughs> as it's going through gear, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of immersive feel there. Reverse bips been uh, replaced, and also the air brakes and the governor. Um, and this one's got a few different stuff in it as well. He's got a little bit reverse bip, yeah, even fuller shifter sound. So this one's got some nice recorded sounds, high quality. Uh, Creech does a good one. This one also comes free at the bottom of the engine sounds pack. Uh, and then his last one, tire sounds, also comes free in the same post where he's got his engine sounds pack. Both of those, all three of them downloads are in the same a uh, little spip, you just have to click on each hyperlink to download them. Tire sounds are what they are. They're a realistic tire sounds to the game. As the truck speeds up, then this one adds uh, a nice effect of the tire sounds. So they're 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 changed up. They're different. Um, so what I wanted to do, I know that there's road and wind noise from Z mods, but he's generally payware, but he has a good selection of free mods. So this profile. Is pretty much all of the stuff you would find outside of necessarily like Z mods, road and wind and all this. I wanted you guys to hear a different soundscape so that when we go to the payware, it's going to be basically all Z, and then you're going to hear all of his sounds and hear it in a payware truck, and then you'll be able to kind of lie like, wow, okay, now I get it. Now I see why, you know, it's a difference. You know, people always say, well, why do you pay for those? It's a difference. So let's go ahead, let's jump in game, confirm these changes. And if you guys have any, um, you know, if you've got any questions about this, we're going to dive in this a little bit more uh, on the payware side, at least of uh, why the load order of these matter, um, because you will start getting into some conflicts if you don't, if you just start throwing all this stuff in there, it, it's not going to work the way it's supposed to. So, all right, here we are in our W9, and I'll try to do my best to explain some some things as we're swinging around here. So here's... um. You have some air sounds, so this is all from the, you know, the air brakes, uh, all from the air brake sound, and you got pedal brakes and stuff is nice. I don't think from outside. Yeah, you can't hear the, uh, let's go inside here. So there is your changeovers for your free gears. You will find some switch changes. Let's see, that's a regular sound. That's the headlight sound. This is the flashers. So those have got some changes. The sound fix pack does a really good job with your advanced uh, trailer.
And also when you're filling up with fuel, uh, you get a nice little getting back in the truck, closing the door, clicking the seatbelt, then you hear the keys the keys jingle, and then you can start the truck. I mean, if you time it right, it kind of sounds real, <laughs> even though you can't see it all. All right, so we're also in the N14. This is the 3.6 from Creech Bomb. This is a very popular one. So I'm going to start with the windows up. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We are... We are uh, here at the top of the Grand Tetons. Kind of hear the little clicks and little sounds and stuff. It's, good. it's a good little sound pack. Forgot my track hour, so we'll try to do our views the best we can. Same, at least, uh, turn signal. That one's not changed. You can start to hear the tire sounds that Creech did. You can start to hear those coming through. So I'll, I'll be quiet once we get here, and I'll point them out. There they are. There's your interior sound. So a lot of the um, a lot of the bumps, and if you're pulling enough G's around a turn, you'll hear that as I guess you're leaning in the seat. Some people like it, some people don't. I actually, I actually like it. All right, let's listen to that wind sound. Now this is from the sounds fix pack, which actually allows the whooshing all the time, and even does it when the window's fully all the way down. That scared him to death. <laughs> he slammed on the brake. Oh my God! There's a train coming. Outside's a little bit different. You don't really have as much, um, you know, going on, at least with, like, wind sounds and different stuff like that. But you can't hear the engine. You can hear all of this stuff a little bit more pronounced. I love the wind sound in the uh, Sounds Fix Pack. Such a, such a good sound. If you want to barely leave the windows cracked, you get a different volume in that, a different sound, which is nice. Z, Z, Z does the same thing. Uh, he just mixes his wind in a little bit different with your window gappage. <laughs> so really, this comes down to preference. There's no right, right or wrong way. It's just interpretation from the modders and then your, your preference as a player. All right, so let's go ahead. Let me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here, and I'm gonna change it. Let's look at some wind, because um, we've got a few different things here. So we're gonna set the weather to that, and then we're also gonna set our skybox to have some uh, some 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 rainy weather here. There you guys hear that rain clicking on the. There's thunder. Now this is from the this is from the weather mod that Z has, the weather sound mod. This is still default in-game weather, but his sounds are replaced in the defaults. Uh, 
There's nothing really you can do about the outside rains bleeding in once the windows are down. It's kind of an SES thing. Because at some point, you would still want this as your outside because it sounds like rain outside and not inside. But you can really hear that tire mod really good out here. I think I've got a uh, speed governor on all the cars. Goodness gracious. Alright guys, well here we are on the payware side. So I wanted to, um, I'm going to try to go through this as quick as I can, but I'm also going to try to give you guys as much information as I can. So this is a good one to like just chill out and just kind of like take this in because um, a lot of these are the same questions that if you just breeze through this to get the links, um, you're going to be answering and asking these questions inside the comments. And I'm going to be very likely just to tell you to watch the video because I'm going to try to answer every question that people ask me after they get these and they don't pay attention. Um, or they just, you know, just get the links off the video and think it's all going to work in their folder. This is going to break into the priority of your sound structure um, to showcase you, um, to, well, showcase to you. Um, how you guys need to structure your, your sound folders um, to make the most out of ATS. Um, so as I said, you know, um, in our previous one, we were going to break down the priority of this. I'm also going to kind of like lay out some things versus your payware side versus freeware that you don't necessarily, um, uh, that you do need to at least take note of and worry about because it can give you two different instances of sounds and it, one may be wanted one may not um, you may actually put it in and think oh crap this isn't working the way it's supposed to um, this would be the reason why things like the sounds fix pack are a pack of mods uh, or pack of sounds that create in one mod and if you look at the feature list the feature list includes a lot of the things that we are actually going to be replacing today with better sounding what i feel like is better sounding um, doesn't mean that that's just my preference. That doesn't mean that you guys don't like this mod. Y'all might love it and not want anything else in there. That's fine. Um, it is a good all-around pack, but for the most part, it will work. Environmental sounds work with payware, uh, but it's set aside to basically work with the default game um, and, uh, and not really feature um, compatibility to a ton of different things. So if you've got payware mods, so payware trucks, um, this sounds fix pack will do environmental stuff, but it's not necessarily going to do things inside of that truck because this is not compatible with it. Um, and its naming structure is not compatible. So um, that's why I'm kind of giving you the, I'm giving you the, the Taj Mahal tour of the best of Z's because Z-Mon does a lot of really, really good sounds. And I showed you Creech in the previous one. His sounds like Road and Wind, um, his reverse bips and the reverse sounds and the gear shifting sounds, like those are very similar but that's pretty much all you get. And you only get compatibility with that with a few things. So, um, you know, it, it might be one of those things where you look at something like this that to kind of extend to maybe some of your other investments in American Truck Sim, um, maybe some of these can um, can can add that to it. So um, <clears throat> look at Sounds Fix Pack like your, your dirt of the garden. Your engines are basically your boxes of the gardens, and then everything else um, is added in. It's just plants and flowers that you put in the garden. Um, you have to have the structure right. You have to have a footing, um, and then you have to have your boundary boxes of your of your engines here. They're pretty much you can add as many of those as you want to. For the most part, as long as they don't override each other, they will show up for your truck. They're different because you can have multiples of those. You cannot have more than one air brake sound. You can have more than one train and crossing sound. You can't have more than just one weather sound. Um, they all come in packs, and all of those packs override things like that are found in the Sounds Fix Pack. So, if you were to put the Sounds Fix Pack above all of this stuff, more than likely, most of these things below it would not even sound. You wouldn't even hear them. You would hear nothing but the Sounds Fix Pack, so it would be pointless to even put them in the folder. So, that's the way you want to structure these things this way. This on the bottom, then your engines, and then everything else above that, making sure that they all overwrite the Sounds Fix Pack, at least what you want. And then make sure, making sure that you don't have multiples of the same thing. Um, <clears throat> it does you no know, good to have an interior sound mod and then put another interior sound mod right below it that's for something totally different or that it just does the same thing. One of those is going to overwrite the other. Whichever one is on top of that is going to be the one that, for the most part, is going to be the one that is hurt. Um, so <clears throat> at least you know that. Uh, that can at least uh, that can get you through a lot of the stuff. Same, so, you know... Um, priority structure that I do with my entire folder. Uh, it's just that I actually do the same thing broken down for the sounds. So <clears throat> let's go through real quick here the 
four paywares in this are the 3XX, the W9, C16, 34, 6B. These are both two engine sounds packs uh, from Z. Uh, two of the best, I think, that he's done. I think they're like $5.50 US um, uh, a piece. And I think the, the W9 and the 3XX interior sound packs are like $3. Super cheap, and they do a lot, which you're going to hear. 3XX essentially um, is everything Peterbilt. So if you've got 352s, 62s, if you've got 379s, 89s, 76s, 86s, whatever that you have, that 3 that 3XX pack is going to essentially uh, replace all of the interior sounds that you're going to hear in this truck we're going to drive today. If you want, and you're a Kenworth guy, and you want the W9 interior sound effect, that, like this is everything from Rudis um, to, to W9 sounds effect, like that W900A pulls out of this, um, <clears throat> the W900 with the game, uh, I mean, a lot of W9s, uh, and there's not actually too many out there, but he's got a compatibility list on his website. So go check, make sure that your truck is supported. Uh, if not, send him a message and see if he can either add support or see what you need to do to add support to that interior sound effects pack. That's pretty much it. If you don't know, just ask. Um, and I may not know the question of that, so don't comment to me about mod stuff like that because that would be the developer, not me. Um, <clears throat> outside of that, this is an all Peterbilt, so don't expect this sound mod to work with Kenworth. Don't expect the Kenworth mod to work with Peterbilt's. It's not going to happen. Uh, Z did that on purpose for um, for just realism and did that for um, just to just to have the, the the most realistic experience possible for those guys that are Peterbilt fans or Kenworth fans. You know all your switches, you know all of your window roll down sounds and all of that stuff. It all sounds the same, or it sounds um, the same as what you're used to, or from a truck that you drift uh, drift oh my gosh that you drove uh, it's going to be realistic to that uh and pertaining to that particular brand and uh and model of truck um, outside of that sound crossing environmental weather sound environmental the interior sound mod uh, like i said you can't stack more of these on top because you only have one slot for that inside of ats so interior noise sound mods are going to you know kind of whichever one's on top is going to overwrite the other and the road and wind noise um, this is another one i wanted to showcase because it was different we did the sound fix mod, um, and then we use the tire sound from um, uh, from Creech on our free side of this. This one's going to feature the wind and road noise from Z, which is just different. You can use whichever one you want to, um, but at least with this one, you'll get to hear something different, at least from, um, and it's not even pay where it's still free. Um, actually, the only four that are pay are these, uh, the interior sounds packs and the engines. Everything else is free. But it's just a different set than what you heard. But it's all from the same developer, which he creates soundscapes through all of his mods. So that's why um, I wanted to showcase this for you guys so that y'all could see what a full soundscape from one dude, what it'll sound like. So let's go ahead and let's continue on our game here. So we'll let it load in here. I think we're in maybe Reno or Winnemucca or something. Like we're in Nevada, if anybody asked. Um, also, just to keep in mind, everything you're going to see in this in this part of the video is all payware, um, except for the, your freebie sound mods and stuff that, that are also in here. So we're in the Roland 389, which is the um, which is the redone 389, um, highly, highly, highly edited, but it's becoming its own truck now. It's actually um, not too far along. It's probably going to have a lot of it. It's got its own cabs um, now, which uh, uses the base on the 389 just from the the front end. But all of the stuff has been changed out, so it's it's becoming its own truck now, which is really awesome to see. Um, as you can see, uh, we've got this thing done up like life behind the wheel. It's going to be coming to a live stream or video near you soon. So let's um, let's turn it on. You can obviously hear that outside is is super nice. Air brake sounds were redone. We'll cut it off here, and actually, you can hear the. You can actually hear all of your gear sounds outside the truck which is pretty slick and it's a couple different ones of them too so let's go ahead and crank it back up actually yeah you heard air brakes and this is the c16 all right so inside see it sounds totally different there's your park brake Air brake sounds, window roll downs. You can even see the window buttons are animated in this particular truck. 
So your gas pedal is animated, brakes animated. <coughs> and you got a lot of button switches on the on the dash and stuff. You'll see a lot of stuff like that. Sorry. So there's our. Uh, actually, got a sound for the for the uh, jack brake switch flashers. Turn signals. Bright sounds. So, there you go. Alright, let's take off. And that's pretty much all from your interior sounds pack. So that at least right there kind of gives you an idea what you're uh, you know what you're hearing from those payware packs. Now what we're going to kind of get to hear is um, your your freebie side. Weather Weather mod's the same as it was before, so I'm not going to waste time by going back over that. It's going to sound the same. It's just going to be mixed in with this truck. Little bumps. That's all out of that road and wind noise. Like that. It's got a nice realistic kind of Got a nice, nice feel to that. All right, so we'll roll the windows down. We're going to creak them down here now. The thing about Z's is his wind sound will come in about 45, but it's just a light whooshing in the top. And so once the window's cracked, you kind of hear it. I can put it right under your window chop there. But you can hear the tire sound comes in about 45. It's a very nice tire sound. You can hear that wind start to come in too. As you can then you roll the window down, it will not do anything. It just kind of dissipates and goes away. And that's by design. That's by purpose. Um, he wanted you to hear the engine sounds and the tire sounds more so than whooshing sound coming through the window, which a lot of people complained about when uh, SCS first did the F mod and had the sounds in there. But at least now you kind of get to see a, a more of a general mix of how all this stuff works together. As you can see, I mean, it sounds amazing. Even got the retarder sounds for the truck. And also, if you want to change the stage of brake, you even got a sound for that. Which is awesome. Even outside, the wind goes away, but you get that nice tire sound. And obviously, the engine sounds are inc incredible on the outside. I'll just do a little light spin around on this thing. It's full 360 experience on this. He's mixed a different depending on how you're looking at the truck. If you're back here, it's really heavy and exhaust. It just should be. Side, you hear a lot more tire and just general road noise. And then if you get on the front side, you hear a lot more engine. The turbo's a lot louder. Even your air brake sounds good. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one has a custom, or uh, or Z put the custom, uh, the the air alert. So when you're, if you're doing air brake simulation, it's just, I'm just, I'm just gonna see actually. essentially need to run your reservoir of breakout. It's essentially what you have to do. Alright, here it goes.
Yep, there you go. So now, once it gets above its limit there, generate your air pressure back in your tank. Yeah. And it's a real one, so it's not, you know, it's not the, the cheap beep that you get out of a SES. So anyway, that's all soundscape structure. I mean, that's that's everything from, you know, from A to B. Um, you know, everything in this uh, in this mod folder. Uh, and I'll, I'll just leave it up here. I'm going to finish up here. We'll just say a little bit about, you know, comparatively putting this together with the others. Just final thoughts on this. Um, you know, aside from, you know, doing these... Um, doing these mods the way that, that I've done these, uh, st structuring them up. It doesn't mean that's the only way that this can happen. You can still put creatures with these. Like, if you don't want to buy the effects pack, then you can use his. Um, generally speaking, a lot of people that do watch me, they do at least have one or maybe two payware trucks. I mean, it's not like you have to buy everything that I put out on the channel. It's kind of like, you know, people don't watch every video I put out on the channel, but for some odd reason, some people feel obligated they have to go out and buy something just because I show it or, or that I, you know, say that it's really good. Um, a lot of this is just personal preference. Um, you know, I, I'd say if you're if you're breaking into this, you have no idea really what to do, uh, but you don't want to waste money. But you don't want to, you know, use this video to your advantage. Um, you're seeing a bunch of stuff in here on the free side and payware side. You can mix and match these. If you don't like this road sound, that's fine. Use uh, use the tire sound from Creech. It, it'll work. Um, if you don't like the interior noise mod, you don't like the rummaging around in the seat and stuff while you drive, take this out. Uh, if you like the sound and fix a uh, pack, if you like some of the stuff out of it, then take whatever else you don't like out. Um, you know, air brake sounds uh, is free, so it's a good, you know, most of all of these other ones are free. So you can move them in and out if you want to. Um, and, and you can piece the other ones out of the free one if you like it. If you like that N14 and that's the biggest, the biggest and baddest engine you want, but you still want the interior effects sounds in it, well, then all you got to do is delete the don't you know obviously don't buy the 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 thing and then just use the 3.6 pack from creech bomb and then put it in the same place put your air brakes and then your uh, interior and effect packs and then create your soundscape from there now hopefully the the whole idea of this video is to show you the the, the best of both best of the free stuff and then also the best when you're creating a soundscape from a developer when you're keeping all of the mods the same all of these are meant to work together they're all meant to to actually be in work in harmony with one another um, so that's why they're designed this way and you know you're going to find some mix and matches from other ones so it's not to say that one's better than the other obviously i think the more immersive experience is going to be on your payware side especially from z stuff because it's meant to all work together and that's just uh, that's my opinion that's uh, that's you know <laughs> he's not paying me to say that by any means it just sounds better um, and and uh, and it's a good it's something good for that the you guys can kind of put all of these things and put these mods together and put these structures together yourself learn something about the game and learn something how to like troubleshoot I mean all this stuff but like just figuring out what mods sound the same if you know what they're actually doing when they're in this state here when you know what priority goes where then you can kind of figure out what's going to give you the best experience for your preference so anyway that's uh, you know, that's all I really want to say here I hope, I hope that um, that that I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you got a lot, a lot out of this video. Links are always in the description for these types of videos. So I've got Creech's stuff in there, and I've got Zmod's website. Obviously, you go pick out the free stuff from his that you want. Put them in your mod folder. Activate them here. Same way with his paywares. Um, all of that kind of stuff. It's all there readily, readily available there in the description for all those links. So go ahead and click those. Download away. Have fun. And uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite stuff is. Let me know. If, even if you know there's other stuff out there you want me to try out and maybe uh, feature on it, let me know. Um, you know, I'm only one guy. Um, so I don't, I don't always know everything that exists out there, especially over multiple platforms now where ATS is. It's not just not here on YouTube. It's, it's everywhere. So I know there's stuff out there that I don't see. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And, uh, and, uh, and also, you feel more than welcome to uh, hop in the Discord as well. You'll find that link in the description. And you can uh, shoot me a DM on there and shoot me a link to something if you want me to check it out and try it out. Or if, especially if you like it and say, hey, I think you need to check it out and give it a whirl. Uh, I certainly will. So thanks, guys. Appreciate the views. Appreciate you coming and, uh, and watching these videos. And, uh, and hopefully you got something out of this. And hopefully it's going to help you have a better experience with your American Truck Simulator. So anyway, until the next time, we'll see you later, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.